What you are looking at is an event that took place in Turkey after the earthquake and not very far from the river Euphrates. In this footage, which was posted online, it literally looks like the ground opened up and fire is coming out from it. Many of you know that the Euphrates River is connected to a lot of end-time prophecies, and also the Euphrates River is really close to the area hit by the earthquake. What exactly is happening here? Many people are wondering if this is the pouring of the veil into the river, as written in the Bible. Are we beginning to witness the destruction associated with the release of the angels bound in the Euphrates River? This is a scary sight to witness, and holds lots of hidden messages, I can imagine it being very scary for whoever's witnessing that firsthand. So let's find out why exactly this event is so relevant. The first earthquake that hits the town of Gaziantep is classified as a major hit. It registered as 7.8 magnitude. It broke along about 100 kilometers of fault line, causing serious damage to buildings near the fault. This was a region where there had not been a major earthquake for more than 200 years. To the right of Gaziantep, you will see that a 7.5 magnitude earthquake also took place. And this was the second earthquake to occur. The river Euphrates runs through three countries, Iraq, Syria, and Turkey. Gaziantep, one of the areas heavily affected by the earthquake, is a major city in south-central Turkey. Gaziantep is situated near the Sasusu River, which is a tributary of the Euphrates River. In Turkey, Syria, and Iraq, the Euphrates River serves as an important source of water for agriculture and industry. As you already know, the Euphrates River is drying up, and it's been all over the news and social media. As Christians, this was not a surprise because Bible prophecy indicates that the Euphrates River will dry up as a sign of the end time in preparation for the kings of the East. Prophecy is fulfilled, and the river is drying up, as seen from many pictures and reports shared online. This is not a coincidence as many unbelievers would want it to be. If God says the river's gonna dry up, and it dries up for a reason that was not perceived by a man, it doesn't mean that the prophecy is false. It simply means that the prophecy came true, but in an unexpected way. God always uses nature to communicate with man. The Euphrates River drying up reveals mysterious finds along the riverbank, and there were reports of hearing angelic screams. The region hit by the earthquake is extremely close to the Euphrates River, and this footage was recorded around the region. Why is this footage relevant? I would like to bring your attention to chapter 16 verse 12 in the book of Revelation where it states, And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. This looks to me as if a veil is being poured. This is my opinion and how I see it. What do you think of this? Many of you do have great insights into end-time happenings and revelations. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. But now let's move on to verses 13 and 14. Revelation 16, 13, 14. Then I saw three evil spirits that looked like frogs. They came out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. They are spirits of demons performing miraculous signs, and they go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle on the great day of God Almighty. John reports in this verse that he saw three unclean spirits like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon. The dragon is the devil. The unclean spirit also came out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. John compares the unclean spirits that come out of mouths of the trinity of evil to frogs. Frogs were an appropriate comparison for this era since they were seen as unclean and slimy. The second plague that God sent upon Egypt was that of frogs. The Egyptians found the frogs to be so obnoxious that Pharaoh entreated Moses to remove all the frogs. He promised to let the Hebrews leave Egypt if the Lord would remove the pests. Then the Lord caused the frogs to die. And when the Egyptians gathered them into piles, the land stank. Exodus 8.14 Now, this is the part I want to focus on. It is in verse 12 where it says the kings of the east might be prepared. They are prepared because of the drying of the water of the great river Euphrates. 
So whether you believe the vial has been poured out or not, the river is drying up. So we are told that the sixth angel poured out his vow upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up. I believe that's quite self-explanatory. The sixth angel, when he pours out his vow, the water thereof will be dried up, is very clear that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Revelation 16, 15. Behold, I come like a thief. Blessed is he who stays awake and keeps his clothes with him, so that he may not go naked and be shamefully exposed. The Messiah is coming back, and he's coming back as a thief. No one will know when he will return. Just as a thief catches a household by surprise, Jesus will catch the unbelieving world by surprise when he returns in judgment. People will be eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, just as if they have all the time in the world. But then, before they know it, judgment day will be upon them. Paul puts it this way. While people are saying, peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly, as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. The Bible teaches that there is no other way to salvation than through Jesus Christ. Jesus himself says in John 14 to 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He is not a way, as in one of many. He is the way, as in the one and only. No one, regardless of reputation, achievement, special knowledge, or personal holiness, can come to God the Father except through Jesus. The choice is yours to make. These are my personal views about the footage and the Euphrates River. Do you think the veil is being poured on the earth?